you can barely see the light dimming on and off. And this is wireless energy transfer. What I got there, just a ignition coil going to a rectifier and then just a LED out of the rectifier. This is a ground rod that goes down up under the house and goes outside to a copper rod that I beat in the ground and then I got an antenna right here. So now I'm going to take you to the transmitter. It's a DeWalt trigger. But <clears throat> I got it going through a spark cell. Now the reason is because if you just dump all the battery juice straight to the ignition coil, this ignition the ignition coil is going to get hot. So how you set it up is you go straight to the spark cell. Well that spark cell is only going to take two amps. You know, and that's you know with a tuned spark cell, two amps. Well, instead of going straight to the ignition coil off the battery, you take one go through the capacitor to the ignition coil tie the other one to go straight to the ignition coil so you don't go straight to the ignition coil one side does but the other side will go through a capacitor <clears throat> okay then you got a spark gap off the secondary that goes through here now I'm going to show y'all why step by step Y'all basically know why I'm using the spark cell, just to limit the current that's going to the uh, ignition coil. Well, I'm going to show you why I'm using a spark. So now out of my secondary, which comes out of the top, before I go straight to the ground, like I did on the last video, you know, I just created a spark. I go through a capacitor. Reason being is I can charge up this cap by the amount of spark that I get. Alright, so what I do is I take that energy that you store up in the cap and you go from the the capacitor side, you know, which would be like the ground of the ignition coil and you go straight back to your capacitor that you're limiting the current with. So now, I still got that spark but the juice you know on each pulse goes back into your battery alright so now I've added the rest of the cat bank it goes basically back to the battery so I got a momentary switch that cuts on the ignition coil and the hydrogen cell which limits the current I got my spark gap I said it's hard to see with the light on Let me flip the light switch off for you Y'all can see that now. And like I said, that's my receiver's antenna. And go across the room. Right there, probably about eight foot tall. So the distance had to be about eight foot. And like I said, there's there's no external power going to that receiver right there which sees what you get you got a ground an antenna and that's the rectifier right there I haven't seen much better than this on the internet and I just started about a week ago so y'all help me out
The limiting current is working good. The ignition coil don't even heat up at all. Alright, I've got some weight put on my momentary switch to hold it down. I wanted to show y'all another way you know that this is working right. Is everything's got juice. Even, even the spark cell. See, this still working, but everything's got high voltage. Everywhere. I mean, there ain't nowhere that it ain't got high voltage. Even on the caps. And this ain't an altered bulb. This is one. Look, I can put it right back in my lamp. And cut it on. I mean, that ain't no altered bulb. That's just a regular bulb. So, that's about how you know when you got it.